Hello, I'm Fred Baldwin, Commander, USN, Naval Aviator, retired. I first met Gene Cernan about 1958, and I'm honored to be able to share a few moments with you about what a wonderful, fantastic American and hero Gene Cernan was. I have a lot of memories about Gene. I was the best man at his wedding. But the thing I learned from Gene, that if you're gonna do something, make sure you give it your all, nothing less. And Gene taught me that. And he also taught me how to be a gracious man and make everyone, regardless of who they are in a room, feel just as important as the next person. We had a pact to make it to 85 years old. Gene didn't make it. I miss him. I miss him terribly. But I just know that every time I look up in the sky in the evening, when the moon is there, I know he's close. So I just want to say thank you for letting me share a little bit of your screen with you, and to all of my friends in Australia, see you, mate. This is Gemini Launch Control. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one, zero. When I stepped out of that spacecraft, we were really headed out into the unknown. I mean, I was upside down, sideways. The earth might have been up here, it might have been down there, I don't know. I was just helpless. You're sitting on the top of 2,740 tons of equivalent TNT. Do you know fear or apprehension? I didn't before you told me it was that much TNT. <laughs> We knew we were vulnerable to a whole host of unknown problems. And our goal was to identify and solve those problems so that Neil and his crew would have just that much less to worry about. Okay, stand by for pitch over. Or are we coming in? Pitch over. There it is, proceeded. And there it is, Houston, there's Camelot, wide on target. I was out there somewhere with the opportunity to see something and be somewhere and do something that only 12 human beings in the history of mankind have been able to do or be or see. Just standing here, I'm wondering what people are gonna think, not in another 40 years, but maybe another 100 years, who knows? Maybe another 1,000 years.
I, I, I don't know whether I'm afraid of death or not. Maybe I am and I'm not willing to admit it. I, I don't, I'm not ready to die. And when the time comes that I do, I don't want to leave any grief. But I look at this piece of ground and I keep thinking, I guess someday my kids and grandkids are gonna come here and see a little marker in the ground. And this is where me is gonna be.